Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix iPhone cannot connect to Wi-Fi. You wanna follow these steps to fix it. So let's get started. Very first thing is pull down that top menu here and put your phone on airplane mode. Now if your phone is already in airplane mode, you definitely wanna turn this off. And then we're gonna go turn that off. And the reason why I do that is a quick network refresh, just like that. So turn on and off. You can also find this in your setting. Just turn on airplane mode for 10-15 seconds and then turn it off and you'll see a network refresh and Wi-Fi should connect. Now if it's still not working, the next thing to do is click on your actual Wi-Fi and then what you're gonna do is click on that eye icon here. You're gonna go ahead and forget the network and then let's go ahead and forget it and then what you're gonna do is connect to it again. So you're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi and then enter your password. And I'm gonna enter my password again here and the reason why it is if the Wi-Fi password changed this will prevent you from connecting, so it's always good to re-enter the new Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I did that. Now, if you're still having issues, you're gonna click on that eye icon right here next to it, and then you wanna make sure a couple things here. Configure IP, make sure this is selected to be automatic. And then go back here, and then configure DNS. Also wanna make sure this is automatic if you switched it over to something else. So with these two automatic, now you should go ahead and see the Wi-Fi working. If it's not working, the next thing you're gonna go ahead and do is in your main setting, starting from the main setting, you're gonna go to general, and then click on BPN and device management, and then click on BPN. Now, if you happen to have a BPN turned on, you wanna turn the BPN off temporarily or completely delete that BPN. Sometimes BPN can block your Wi-Fi connection, so turn it off or delete it, and then after the Wi-Fi connects, you can always reinstall the VPN and turn it back on. Now, along with that, the next thing you're gonna do is, if you're still having issue, is this process here. We're gonna quickly press and release volume up, volume down in that sequence, and then hold down this big side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'm gonna do quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then I hold down this big side button just like that. And we're gonna wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears on the screen before we let go of that side button. So as you can see here, and then I let go. And what we have done is essentially shut down the phone and then reload the code. So if it's a software related issue, it's gonna go ahead and fix it. Now other thing to do is you also want to go ahead and restart your router and modem. So usually that just means just pulling the plug from the outlet, wait about one minute and then reconnecting. So that way if there's an issue with your router or modem where the Wi-Fi can uh, be connected, it's gonna go ahead and fix that as well. So do both, restart your phone doing this method. All I did was remember quickly press and release volume up, volume down before holding down that side button. Might take a couple tries to do it. Uh, this method will not delete any of your data. So everything will still be on your phone and then restart your modem or router as well. Now, after you have done that, it's still having issue. The next thing to do is in your setting, you're gonna go to general, scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone, and then you're gonna click on the first reset, and you're gonna do what's known as reset network setting, the second option. This will basically reset all the network settings uh, itself. It will not delete any of your data. And once you do that, you'll just have to have to reconnect again to your Wi-Fi. This usually fix any network related issue that you may be experiencing, which means Wi-Fi not being able to connect. Finally, if you did all of this and still having issues, the next thing to do is updating the phone software. For this, you need to be either on cellular data or connected to a computer as if Wi-Fi isn't working, it will not be able to go to your internet. So in your setting, you're gonna go to general, software update and look for to see if the update if it is, go ahead and update it. Again, keep in mind you need to be connected to cellular data in order to download and install the latest update or connect it to a computer. So that should help you. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.